what were you saying on the phone? What was it about you? What were you, those <laughs> qualities that you had? I'd had some very good advice from okay. uh, from someone who you might know, John Howard. Nice. I'd rung John, who I'd known quite well, and I said, you know, I've got this pre-selection. And he said, look, there's one thing I would say to you. Do not harp on about being a woman. He said, because it's clear that you are a woman. <laughs> um, you don't need to be throwing that you into their face that, you know, they need to pre-select a woman. What you need to do is talk to them about what you can bring to the parliament. And I think what I was bringing to the parliament was that I was a local. I yep. mean, my kids were at the school locally. I'd grown up in the area. I was, uh, you know, I was someone who was in touch with what that community was needing in terms of its infrastructure and all those sorts of things. I'd gone up and chatted to the police and talked to them about their needs for a new station, all those sorts of things. So I think I persuaded them on the night that, um, that I could do the job. But I also had a pretty good ending line for my pre-selection speech because I finished it off by saying, I think we need to acknowledge here tonight that John Hannaford, who is the minister trying to come down, is the front runner in this, in this um, pre-selection. Um, but what I'd say to you tonight is that if you pre-select with me, you end up with two very good members of parliament, not just one. And I think that's what swayed some people in the end. Mm -hmm.